Hi again. If you're working on a new project using parts whose libraries are not available in Altium, it is time that you quickly learn how to build your own custom libraries. It is better to create your own than searching all around as it is very easy to create your own custom libraries in Altium. In this tutorial, we will discuss different methods to create professional Altium libraries and how we can use some of the Altium inbuilt tools to make the process faster for complex parts. So let's get started. To create an Altium library for any part, these are mainly the steps that you need to follow. We'll discuss each step one by one and what all methods you can use to make things faster. Step 1 is to create new integrated library file. An integrated library in Altium Designer is the one where the source symbol, footprint and all other information is compiled into a single file. You can add as many parts as you would like into an integrated library. Let us now see how to create new integrated library file in Altium. Run Altium Designer and click on Projects. Right click anywhere on the projects panel. Select add new project and click on integrated library. Once you do that integrated library will be added in the white box. Once added just right click on the integrated library and save the project. Select the path where you want to save the integrated library. Notice the default path for Altium libraries. Open AD17 folder. Open library folder. This is where all the libraries for Altium are. Create a new folder to put your old custom libraries. Give a name to your library. I will name it as Atmel 8 bit microcontrollers. And then save it. There you go. The integrated library is successfully added and saved. Once the integrated library file is added and saved, we can move on to the next step. In this step, we will add schematic and PCB library files to the integrated library that we created. The schematic library file will have the symbol and the PCB library file will have the footprint of the required part. Here is how to add schematic and PCB library files to the integrated library. Just right click on the integrated library file we added in the last step, add new to the project and click on schematic library. This will add schematic library to the project. The schematic library tab at the bottom will be activated by default. So click on projects again, right click on the integrated library, add new to the project and click on PCB library files. The PCB library tab at the bottom will be activated by default you have to click on projects again. Schematic and PCB library file added. Let's save them. Right click, click on save. The path should be same as that of the integrated library. Give it a proper name. We'll be making libraries for Atmega 328P microcontroller from Atmel. Click on save. Similarly for PCB library file, click on save. Give it the same name for consistency. Click on save. There you go. The schematic and PCB library files are successfully added.
Once the schematic and PCB library files are added, we can move ahead and create schematic symbol for the part. The symbol will be saved in schematic library file and you can add multiple symbols for a part. There are various ways to create symbol in all theme and we will discuss three different methods here. In the first method, we will follow the regular procedure. It is straightforward but can be very time consuming for complex parts. The second method will use some of the all theme tools to improve upon method 1 and make the part in extremely small time. The third method will use automatic symbol wizard in all team. Check out all these methods and decide which one suits you better. Let us create the schematic symbol using method 1. Click on the schematic library file to open drawing plane. You can also navigate through tabs on the top. Start by drawing a rectangle. You can change the properties of the rectangle by double clicking on it. I like it transparent and with medium border. You can adjust the size as per your requirement. Now select place pins from the menu and before you place the pin just press tab to edit the properties. I have already copied all the pin names from the data sheet in the excel sheet. These are the pin names. And these are the pin numbers. Copy the first pin name and paste it in the pin properties. Put the designator as pin number 1. Select the electrical type as IO. Press OK. Now left click to place the pin. Similarly for pin number 2, press tab. Go to excel sheet, copy the second pin name, paste it, select the electrical type, press ok, left click to place it. Again for pin number 3, tab, edit properties, copy the pin name, paste it, select the designator, select IO type, press ok, place it with the left click. I will skip the process for some pins to save some time. There you go, the symbol is complete now. Now that you have looked at method 1 for creating symbols, you must have realized that it is very time consuming to create symbols like that. Imagine a symbol with 300 pins, it can take forever using this method. Plus it is error prone. You are copying pins one by one or looking at the data sheet and typing. This can introduce many errors. Let us see method 2 where we will make the symbol the smart way. In method 2, we will start with the rectangle like in method 1. 
select place pens and place the pens one after another. Note here that we are not changing the properties of the pen. This will be much faster. Now click on SCH, SCH lib list and notice that there are no entries here. I have docked it permanently at the top. Yours might appear as a separate window. Now click on SCH library. These are the pins that we have added on the symbol. Select all the pins by pressing shift key and down arrow. Click on SCH then SCH lib list again. Now notice that there are entries. You can edit the pin properties here and the best part is you can do it all together. Here is our excel sheet. I have added another column which indicates the electrical type for each pin. Just copy all the pin names. and paste them here all together then copy all the electrical types and paste them also there you go the symbol is ready As you must have noticed that method 2 is faster and smarter. We have created the same symbol in much shorter time. Plus if you are looking to create a symbol where the pins are not equally divided on both sides, it is easy to create such a custom symbol as well. Let us now look at method 3 where the symbol will be created automatically using the symbol wizards from Altium. In method 3, start by clicking on tools. Select symbol wizard. Symbol wizard window will appear. Enter pin numbers as 32. Select the pin layout style. Go back to the excel sheet that we created. Copy the pin names. Paste all the pin names. The pin names are shown on the symbol. Now copy the electrical types. Paste it. I have added another column in the excel sheet which indicates the group. The same number is given to similar pins. Paste the groups. Once you click on split into groups, the similar pins will be divided in pin data as well as on the symbol. Click here to place the component and your symbol is ready. Double click to edit the properties as transparent and with medium border. 
As you have seen that method 3 is the fastest among all the methods. But I personally find it less flexible as compared to method 2. My personal choice is method 2 for creating all kinds of custom symbols. Until now, we have learnt about different methods to create symbol in all team designer. Stay tuned for the second part of this video where we will discuss methods to create footprints and how to connect them to symbols. At the end, we will also discuss various sources of Altium libraries and how you can import libraries from other tools. Thanks for watching.